This is part two of my Orca collection. I'm going through the toys at the current moment. They're sealed one, floor part ones, and ones that have just come from shops. Uh, so here we go. This is another Laura Park one uh, I got at Laura Park. This one is called Keto, who is my favourite orca ever. And he, and I've seen him three, uh, um, sorry, no, two times now. About to see him a third time very soon. And he's my favourite. I love him and I love this plush. It's my bedtime cuddle plush, this one. This one gets lots of cuddles. Um... Which a lot of my collectible walkers will never have. <laughs> uh, this is uh, another Shamu walker, very very special. This one, this well, these two are attached, and it has this very special tag on it, uh, which says conservation counts. I have to be very careful with this, and it has all these killer whale facts inside. It's very awesome, and then it has this on the back, very special. And it has this conservation through education tag. I love these. I love this one so much. Like, I really love this one. Um, try and find out this one's name as well. Yeah, I don't actually think they had a name. No, they didn't have a name. I didn't name these two. Then we have my 50th... Sea World Orca. Go from the 50th anniversary back in 2014. Go. Oh, and then ones that I just showed, just showed a minute ago, would have been from. What, it does say what year actually on this. 1992. Then ones are from. 2014, there you go, called Alani, call this one Alani, who is an orca at Sea World Orlando. Next up we have another Laura Park orca I bought at the park. This is one that is called Tekawa, who is the another orca who lives at Laura Park. Here, she, here he is. show this one did I? No. Sorry I'm getting a bit piled up here and I'm getting a bit lost. Here we have another one of these Silver Fruit Conservation. I love Shamu tag. This one say where it's from, when it's from even. No, brilliant. Very helpful. Uh, this one would have been from the early 90s. Very stiff stuffing these ones have. Can't really imagine a child cuddling it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but I know I know they used stiffer stuffing back then. Uh, this is a Sea World puppet uh, from the early, very early 2000s, maybe like the 1999, 1998. Go Shamu puppet makes a little squeaky noise, so I will show you this. <laughs> Has a little squeaker inside. Love that one. Then we have another Laura Park Orca. Go, I forgot what I called this one, so I'm gonna look again. <laughs> this one is also called Morgan, so I have two Morgans actually. <laughs> Um, which is quite funny. <laughs> I didn't know that. I have named two walkers Morgan. This is also called Morgan. Um, that is really funny. Um, I didn't. I did not mean to do that. I wasn't. That wasn't on purpose. I did not mean to do that. Um, this is another Sea World Orca. Uh, this would be from like 2014, 2015. This is a bit of a newer design. Uh, so here we go. Like 2014, 2015. This one. Very new condition, very, very, very soft. Um, love this one. Uh, try and find what note I named this one. Um, Ulysses, who is an orca at Seawall San Diego. 
we got an, and a bit of a smaller one here from SeaWorld yet again. Uh, this one would be from early 2000s. Go. And that one is called. That one is called Goro, who was an orca who lived at Adventure World in Japan. Then we have a plush puppet, SeaWorld Orca, again from the 90s. Is this one have a year on it? No, they never have years on them. Oh, it has got a price on it though, which is pretty cool. And it's very hard, but got the squeaker in it. Very, very cute. Uh, then we've got a bigger SeaWorld Orca. This one is from 1986. This one is called Ramu, who was an Orca who lived at... I need to find out. SeaWorld Orlando. This is one of my very special Shamu Orcas. This one would be from the 2000s, early 2000s. Look how cute this is. It's Shamu, the star Shamu. That's what it's meant to be, like the sight of the star. Um, did I give this one a name? No, just the star Shamu this one's called. This was, so this one's very special, this was um, my first orca when I started collecting. Um, so this is uh, another one from SeaWorld but has no like tush tag, like, which is a shame, but you know. Another one, it's like very, very loved, as you can see, I do cuddle this one, this is another cuddle buddy one. Uh, this one's called Tua, who is an orca at SeaWorld Orlando, and this was my first ever orca when I started collecting. So he's special and he's a cuddle buddy. Uh, another one, this is from uh, Amazon, Wild Republic. This one's called Five, who is actually a wild orca and he's an orca I adopted on a charity. Here we go, Five. Next up, we have, uh, I think this one's called Tua, if I remember. Oh no, 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 he's called Kai Quote. Sorry, I don't know where I got two R from. Kai Quote is at Seaworld San Antonio. Uh, another very special one, this is a dark blue and light blue orca, and it's a Seaworld across it. Uh, probably from 2014, 2015. Very, very, very soft. Um, this one is called Benkai, who was an orca who lived at Nanki Shirama Adventure World in Japan. Another Laura Parke, very silly orca. Uh, look at this, look how cute he is. He's got beans as well. Can't remember what I called this one. Tyson, I call with this one. Tyson currently lives at Chimlong Ocean in China. A very, very old, faded tag. Sealed Orca, his tag is just completely obliterated, the poor thing. Um, I think this one... I can't remember what I named it. Did I even name this one? <laughs> Yes, Malia, who is a seal, is a orca at Seal Orlando. Did name that one. Then we got this is very, 
very special yet again. My special American sealed orca, probably made for like Independence Day, like, you know, like July, like Independence America. This is a much newer one. It actually was still in their shop when I got it, which was, I think, in Easter this year, I'm pretty sure I got this. And it was still on the SeaWorld shop. So this is actually very brand new. It came with tags and everything. Uh, very soft. Uh, this one is completely brand new. It's got glittery eyes. Love this one so much. That's my special American Orca. And I called her Nalani. I think that's another Nalani I've got as well. <laughs> I've got another Nalani. Uh, I have got ones with some same names, which is not, again, not on purpose. I have done it on accident. Um, I got a big SeaWorld Orca. I had to fix his tail, but he was very, very cheap on eBay, so it doesn't matter. Um, again, from the early, early 2000s. Uh, I named this one, what did I name you? Can Do, Can Do, after Can Do 5. Um, and Candy Five lived at San Diego. Uh, San Did she live at San? Oh, I don't want to get it wrong. <laughs> yep, she lived at San Diego. I was right. We're getting down to the last few, so I sh I I'm going to continue this video. This is one I actually just received today, which is quite funny. Uh, this is a 50th SeaWorld, very shiny bag, so like from 2014 when I had the uh, 50th anniversary. Little walker inside, SeaWorld, oh, SeaWorld. Very, very cute this, I love this, it's uh, very cute. That one hasn't got a name. Um, then I've got a tiny little Shamu uh, from like the late 80s, little tiny Shamu. Probably was attached, one of the attached ones, but got lost on the way like got lost like from whoever had it but I'm guessing this one was attached to a bigger one um, uh, then we've got another SeaWorld Orca from late 90s I would say don't remember what I named this one so This is Kona too, who lived at SeaWorld Orlando. Oh, this one's big and heavy, very hard stuffing. Can't say you could have given this to a child, goodness me. Uh, this is another SeaWorld one. Uh, I'd say it's from the 90s and came, came with this little guy. Look how cute they are. Came, they came together. And uh, big one is called Katanika, I think you say it, in Shimlong Spaceship in China, who has a little baby who is called Yilong, uh, who also they, 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 they live together. Then we have this one, another one from Amazon by the Wild Republic. Sorry, not from Amazon. I got this at the airport when we was coming back from Tenerife and I saw it in the gift shop. And I called this one Corky, who currently lives at San Diego, SeaWorld San Diego. Then we have a, another one of these. And this is from 1987. I don't think I gave this one a name. It has a very like bluish tint, so maybe sat in the sun. Uh, this is from 1987. Uh, then we have a very little walker, SeaWorld, and this one is called Orchid, who was Kandu's calf, so that big one, this big Kandu, these two came together. So I named the little one Orchid, who's her baby. Uh, then we have this hoodie, SeaWorld Orca hoodie toy. Uh, say like 2010 to 2014, about then. 
flappy tail, beans, very very cute, called this one Splash, who was an orca who lived at, I'm going to say Orlando, which I'm probably right, but I'm just going to check. <laughs> Oh no. He 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 last lived at SeaWorld San Diego. So there you go. Then we have this newer again one. So I'd say 2015, 2016. Very new, very soft. Um called this one Katniss. It has like a short chubby tail, which is different to the others. Um and Katniss lives at uh, just let me just check Chimlong again Chimlong in China and we got another one of these little ones again this one's from 1992 this one's called Bingo who was an orca who lived at Kamigawa Sea World Bingo is like so cool this is the last one currently, may I add. This isn't my forever collection. This is uh, Wiki. I got her just before we went to Marina Land Seabees last year. Her stuffing's a little bit, you know, dipped there. Um, Wiki's an orca who lives at Marina Land Seabees. And this is from Ikea. And it, oh no, it's not the last one. I'm so sorry. This is the last one. This is the last one. Uh, oh, <laughs> this is, I got this off of eBay. This was a giant orca that Ikea sold back in like 2013, 2014, I think it was. Very, look at this floppy daughter fin. Look at this, I, I love it. Just flops, because it's got no stuffing in it. Absolutely gigantic. And this is my most gigantic orca. Uh, this one's called Tilikum. I mean, how could I not call him Tilikum? Look at this guy. And I'm so glad that I saved this name exclusively for this guy because look at him. He is just Tilly. He is Tilly. And Tilikum lived at SeaWorld Orlando. And oh, just look at him. This is my favourite orca in the world. Just can't take him anywhere because he's too gigantic. Um, but yeah, that's that is my current SeaWorld collection and also orca collection toys there you go thank you guys and bye bye, 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 bye.